Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to run Phase 3 model using Onyx Runtime at the edge. By reducing the communication between client and the server, edge inference brings in many advantages, including real-time performance, improved data privacy, as well as cost effectiveness. However, bringing in AI models from cloud environments to edge devices poses challenges. Number one, the limited computational resource on edge devices. Number two, the diversity of edge devices and the toolkits. So having lightweight optimized models with a runtime adaptable to various edge devices is essential for widespread adoption of edge AI. Here is our solution, which involves Olive, Onyx, and Onyx Runtime. For a pre-trained model, you can use Olive to get an optimized Onyx model. Onyx is a standard format for representing machine learning models, and Olive is an easy-to-use model optimization tool. Once you have optimized the model, you can use Onyx Runtime to deploy it across platform with high performance by leveraging hardware acceleration. So this unified open source solution supports high performance deployment on both cloud and edge. Onyx Runtime has been widely adopted by Microsoft product team, including Windows, Office, as well as external partners such as Adobe Hackenface. Here we can now focus on two features of Onyx Runtime for Edge, Onyx Runtime Web and Onyx Runtime Mobile. This demo is going to showcase how to run Phase 3 Mini with Onyx Runtime on both mobile and web platforms. So we're going to take PyTorch Phase 3 Mini from Azure Machine Learning Model Catalog, optimize it using only for both mobile and web platforms, then deploy these optimized models using Onyx Runtime to your Android chat app and a web chat app. Olive is a hardware-aware model optimization tool, and Onyx Runtime is a high-performance cross-platform inference engine. Let's go to the demo. Microsoft recently released Phase 3 Mini, which is a powerful language model with 3.8 billion parameters. Quality-wise, it outperforms GPT 3.5 Turbo, and size-wise, is suitable for client deployment. This model is available in the Azure Machine Learning Model Catalog. We are going to leverage this model to build up private and powerful chatbots for both mobile and web platforms. Since the original model is more than 7 GB, it's not a good idea to run it directly on the Edge devices. As mentioned, the first step is to optimize Phi 3 for our specific hardware targets and we can accomplish this using only. Here is an only example demonstrating how to optimize the Phase 3 model for various hardware targets, including CPU, GPU, mobile, and web. The usage is straightforward. Simply run this script with appropriate parameters. This script allows generates optimized model for the specific hardware targets. For our demo, let's start by generating the optimized model for mobile platform. I've already opened the example in VS Code. If you run the script for the first time, it's gonna take a while, since it needs to download a model more than 7 GB. So I've already run the command to save time. As you can see, we specify the target as mobile and tell Olive to download the model from Azure Machine Learning. After running the command, we can get an Olive configuration file as well as optimized model. Let's take a look at the configuration file. As you can see, Olive downloads the model from Azure Machine Learning and apply int4 quantization together with other optimizations available in the model builder. Int4 is an efficient method for generating a more lightweight 
comprise the model with some trade-off with model accuracy. Let's also take a look at the optimized model. As you can tell, it's in Onyx format. The optimized version is just about 2.5 GB, comparing to the original PyTorch version, which weighs more than 7 GB, achieved a size reduction of nearly three times. Similarly, we can run the command with web target specified to get the optimized model for web deployment. To save your time on optimizing model, we will upload the pre-optimized models on Hack and Face. Feel free to download them for your usage. If you have fine-tuned version, it's recommended to use Olive for model optimization. All right, let's deploy the optimized model to both mobile and web platform. We will develop an Android chat app with Py3. To efficiently run the model, we utilize Onyx Runtime Generate API. This API streamlines and speeds up the inferencing process for generate AI models. In this app, as you can see, we make use of Onyx Runtime and the Onyx Runtime Generate libraries. Okay, I'm gonna open this example in Android Studio. Connect my Android Samsung phone and copy the optimized Onyx model on the device to save time. Let's run the example. All right, the app is setting up. I want to highlight that the device is currently offline, demonstrating that the model inference I'm about to showcase conduct entirely on the device. Let's engage with the conversation. What question should we ask? How about what's Onyx Runtime Mobile? Answer in one sentence. Right, it says Onyx Runtime Mobile is a lightweight cross-platform inference engine optimized for mobile and embedded devices. That's great. Are you excited about this mobile chat app? Don't forget, we have more. As next, let's run the Phi 3 model in the browser using Onyx Runtime Web. Here is our web example of running Phi 3. Given that Phi 3 is a sophisticated model, executing it on the CPU in the browser would be performance-wise unacceptable. Therefore, we leverage web GPU acceleration in the Onyx Runtime Web to run this model efficiently. So in the package.json file, you can see all the packages we need for this app are Onyx Runtime Web, Transformer.js, and Webpack. We use Transformer.js for tokenizer part. And Webpack is a free and open source module bundle for JavaScript. In the main.js file, we have a function to detect whether your device supports WebGPU or not. And in the lm.js file, we're going to create Onyx Runtime Inference Session with WebGPU Execution Provider for model inference. All right, let's build and run this app. Just copy the command to build and copy this command to run it. Okay, we have already set up the web app. We can go to this URL to open it up. Since I have already downloaded the optimized model and it's cached for Onyx Runtime Web, the loading part should be quick. If you download for the first time, it will take a while. To show the magic, let me disconnect my internet. I'm offline now. Let's ask 
what's our next runtime web? Seems only runtime web use web GPU to inference the model. We can also open up the task manager to monitor the GPU usage. Actually, my browser is using the second GPU, which is um, NVIDIA GeForce GPU. And you can tell there is a noticeable GPU usage increase, indicating that uh, this web app is leveraging GPU for model acceleration. It's worth noting that performance varies between GPUs. The more powerful the GPU, the faster the speed. For instance, we were observed more than 70 tokens per second with an NVIDIA RTX 4090. That wraps up the demo. I will put all the materials, including demo code and documentations, to this page. Please try it out and feel free to leave us any feedback.